Welcome back to another episode of All About the Brand Podcast. I am your host, Courtney Sargent, senior, very proud to be a senior. And in this episode, I'm going to tell you how I became a personal brand and what is personal branding. We're going to talk a little bit about that today. We're going to broach that topic. What is it? Why is it so important? Okay. As I've said before, there are two types of branding. There's your visual branding and your story branding. Uh, and we're going to talk about personal branding today, which is, is very, very similar to your story branding, essentially the same thing. Um, how I became a personal brand and, and why I actually started calling myself a personal brand. I first heard the term branding in 2010, and I had no idea what it was or what it could do for me. It actually came to me in a very spiritual way, a very spiritual experience. I distinctly remember hearing the term personal branding inside of me, in my spirit, in my mind. I didn't audibly hear it, but I heard it in my mind, in my spirit, and I started to do some research on it. And I knew nothing about it, but little did I know several years later, I will be a three time award winning graphic designer. I will become a CEO of a branding agency. I will be the president of a nonprofit organization and beloved as the people's entrepreneur. Another story for a story time. Um, and I boldly say that God, the universe, infinite power, infinite intelligence, personal branding and a determination to succeed has afforded me those opportunities then and now and has made me the man that I am today. I strongly believe that. And I, I got to be honest with you, though, I never wanted to be a brand. I never tried to become a brand, but I realized that I didn't I couldn't help it. <laughs> right. You, you really it, we all have a brand and I'll get to that. But I never wanted to be a brand because I didn't want people to think that I was arrogant or prideful because that's not my personality at all. Like if you know me and the more you listen to this podcast, you'll you'll learn me. But that's not my personality whatsoever. So when I call myself a genius, I say that because I believe it, not because I'm just this arrogant guy. That's not me whatsoever. You know, most folks are dog lovers. I'm a people lover and I have dedicated my life to serving others and becoming a personal brand was the best career decision I've ever made. One of them probably moving the tech, moving to Texas was the best one, but you know, I don't, I don't know. That's that's, they hold a close one, two punch right there, but probably was the best decision that I've ever made for my, for myself as a brand. Um, because it allows me to be who I truly am without apology, because this is my brand and I embrace my brand. I embrace who I am. So if you thought about branding yourself, but you have similar concerns where you don't want people to think that it's all about you or you don't like being the limelight or whatever the case may be. Just do it. Just do it. And here's why. Your constant desire to be humble will keep you from being arrogant. I'm going to say it again. That's a tweetable. Your constant desire to be humble will keep you from being arrogant because you're going to do internally. You're going to do everything that you can not to be arrogant. Because that's not you. That's not your heart. That's not your intent. And the fact that you don't want to be prideful will keep you from being prideful. The same is true with success. I believe your fear of failure will keep you from failing and drive you to succeed. And your fear of failure will look at a failure and say, this was not a failure. This was, in fact, a success. It's all about having the right mindset, motives and perspective. And so after I heard the term personal branding, I started researching and learning everything that I could about it, like just Googling it, looking it up, reading books. Then I started testing what I learned on myself first. I started testing it. And what do you know? It worked. I was like, oh, schnizap. Now I spend my time helping other people. I built a company helping other people build their brand around who they are and what they love because it worked on me and I know it'll work for other people. My personal brand has afforded me to earn hundreds of thousands of dollars. And you know what? I'd rather be rich than poor <laughs> because I've been there before that rhymed a little bit. Um, so anything, but one thing that I did discover 
from branding myself is that if you don't put yourself out there, you can't expect anyone else to do it for you. And branding affords you the opportunity to control the narrative. It allows you to put the narrative out there, to put the story out there about who you are, right? If you don't promote your own product and service, then how can you expect other people to do it? People say, I don't want to promote myself. Well, who's going to do it for you, baby girl? Who's going to do it for you, young man? Nobody. Nobody's going to do it for you. Okay. You have to make yourself available for for people to communicate and work with. You got to put yourself out there, you know, and people only know what you share. Remember that people will only know what you put out there. So if you say, I don't want all of my business on social media, then baby girl, don't put it out there like that. Don't put all of it out. Okay. Just put out what you want people to know. And, you know, you don't have to create a facade, but you just choose what you what you choose to share. Just share what you choose to share. All right. You got my point. All right. So let's talk a little bit, a little bit about what is personal branding. Simply put, the act of personal branding is a practice of people making themselves and their careers as brands, essentially. And you are the brand that represents your business, your company or your organization. As an entrepreneur or business professional, you are a walking billboard and no one can represent your business as good as you. You are the most accurate representation of your business there is. If you don't have a business, it doesn't matter because you're still a brand. No one can explain your vision the way that you can explain it. No one can explain your ideas the way you explain it. Your brand is all the things that make you who you are. You have unique characteristics, gifts, skills, personality traits, passions, and interests that make up your personal DNA. Personal branding is mixing all of those ingredients together and creating a product or a service around your passion that can benefit others by solving problems, by providing uh, information, convenience, and value. People pay for those things right there. Information, convenience, and value people will pay for. Remember that. Personal branding is about packaging you and presenting and marketing yourself to your audience in such a way that adds value to their lives. That's what personal branding is. Okay. That's the soft branding. All right. That's the, that's, I wouldn't even get into the the story branding aspect of it, but that's just branding overall. Okay. Because story branding is a a whole nother deep concept as well. So I want to talk real quick, real quick in my last couple of minutes of why is personal branding important? Personal branding is a vital part of your success because whether you like it or not, you are a brand, period, point blank. Okay, there's no change in that. That's just the way it is. The danger in not embracing your brand is the fact that your brand is talking about you to the world without you leading the conversation. That was good. Let me say it again. Let me try to say it again. (laughs) The danger in you not embracing your brand is the fact that your brand is talking to the world about you without you leading the conversation. For example, right? I'm sure you know somebody who's always negative, right? Get that person in mind. They never have anything positive to say. They see the glass as half empty instead of half full. That's their brand. Everyone knows it. And that's what people tell other people about them when that person is not around. When that person ain't in the room. Branding is what people say about you when you're not around. It's your reputation to your audience. If you take away nothing else today, take this. Your brand is your reputation. So my question to you is this. What reputation is your personal brand creating for you? Personal branding is so important because when you're purposeful about guiding and cultivating your brand, you can use it as an asset to your success. Okay? So... Your personal brand is the one thing that you can't get rid of, but you have total control over. That's another tweetable right there. I ain't going to charge you nothing for that. (laughs) The worst thing that you can do to your brand is ignore it. All right. So what are you going to do to cultivate and build your personal brand? Will you continue to ignore it or will you use it as a tool to help you reach your American dream of peace, freedom and happiness? Okay. so if you don't know where to get started, just Hit me up. Let me know. I got your back. All right. Um, That's literally all the time that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for listening. 
My name is Courtney Sargent Sr. Until next time, I'm wishing you all of the success that you're willing to attract into your life. Let's make it better by going up together. I love you. Peace.